Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve for the cube root of 7 plus the square root of 50 plus the cube root of 7 minus the square root of 50. But before that we go to the solution, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon so you will be updated with, with more math tutorials like this. So let's go to the solution. First thing we have to do is we have to let this full expression be equal to n. And next thing is we have to make substitutions. We let the first term be equal to a be equal to a be equal to the cube root of 7 plus the square root of 50 and b be equal to the cube root of 7 minus the square root of 50. So if we simplify, we have a plus b be equal to, and since we let the whole expression to be m, the sum of these two. So next thing is we have to cube. The, take the cube of the each, each item, each equation, I mean. So we have a cube equal to 7 plus the square root of 50 and same for b cube is equal to 7 minus the square root of 50 okay. and if we add that we have a cube plus b cube is equal to 14 because this positive square root of 50 and negative square root of 50 cancels out and next thing we have to do is we put it in a algebraic identity. We are choosing the cube of a binomial since we are working with cubes here. So it will be a plus b cube equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab times a plus b. So a plus b, we let that earlier to be m. And so substituting, we have m cube is equal to a cube plus b cube is equal to 14 plus 3ab. But we don't know the value of ab yet. So let that be ab first. So and a plus b is equal to m. So simplifying further, we have m cube m cubed minus 3abm minus 14 is equal to 0. So next step is we have to find the value of ab. So ab is equal to the cube root of a times, I mean, 7 square root of 50 multiplied by the cube root of 7 minus the square root of 50. So simplifying this, we have the cube root of, to put, you need to put this in a single radical that becomes 7 y plus square root of 50, 7 minus the square root of 50. So AB is equal to the cube root of 49 minus the cube root, I mean the square root of 50 squared, so AB is equal to the cube root of 49 minus 50. So AB equal to the cube root of negative 1. And if we get the cube root of negative 1 AB, we can write this as the cube root of negative 1 cube. So AB is equal to negative 1. And knowing AB is equal to negative 1, we can substitute it on the equation we got earlier. So we have M cube minus 3 times negative 1 and M 
minus 14 equal to 0. So simplifying further, we have m cubed plus 3m minus 14 is equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation with no second degree term. For this type of equations, we can factor this by thinking of factors of 14, wherein the factor that factor should have a factor that when you square that factor to the other and add it to the other factor will give us a sum of the middle term which is negative i mean positive three so that is two and seven if we square two it becomes four it becomes four and seven so we can get an algebraic sum of three so we have we have m q minus 4 m plus 7 m minus 14 equal to 0. So factoring out the first two terms, m times m squared minus 4 plus 7 times m minus 2 equal to 0. We can further factor this as some, I mean, difference of two squares as m times m minus 2 times m plus 2 plus 7 times m minus 2 equal to 0. We can factor out m minus 2. And inside we have m times m plus 2 plus 7 equal to 0. So m minus 2 times m squared plus 2m plus 7. So we got the factors for this cubic equation. So we can say that m minus 2 is equal to 0 and m squared plus 2m plus 7 equal to 0. If we get the discriminant of this, that is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 7 and that is 4 minus 28 negative 24. It is invalid because it's negative and the solution is non-real negative 24 so we will only accept this one so this is m is equal to 2 so knowing that m is equal to 2 m is equal to 2 m is equal to 2 before on earlier we let a plus b is equal to m and a plus b is equal to 2. The whole expression a plus b is the cube root of 7 plus the square root of 50 plus the cube root of 7 minus the square root of 50 is equal to 2 and 2 is our final answer. Before we end the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more math tutorials like this. Bye!